Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to update your Microsoft OneNote desktop application and mobile applications. Um, this is a super quick and easy tutorial, so if you do find it useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to our desktop. Okay, so here I am just within my um, Microsoft OneNote desktop application. And what I'm going to do is just show you guys how quick and easy it is to update this to ensure that you have the latest uh, features and functions available um, on OneNote. So what we're going to do is just head over to the ribbon here and click on the file option at the top left hand corner. Once this is open, we're going to click on account and then over on the right hand side here, we see this option here that says update options. Now, if you're not seeing that, you might first of all actually have to enable um, updates for your desktop application and then you'll see this option here. So from this drop down menu, we are presented with several different things. We can obviously learn more about the updates, view the updates and the history of the updates. Um, we can disable the updates. Um, so for example, if I do that, it will basically prompt me to, are you sure you want to do this? I'm not wanting to do that. So I'm going to just uh, make sure that that's not activated. Um, what I'm going to do is actually click on the update now. And what the update now button is going to do is it's going to um, check, see what version you're on, check if there's another um, more up-to-date version available. And then it's going to basically look to download those updates apply those updates and then um, you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this. It's checked. I'm actually already up to date, so I don't need to do any more um, in terms of going through this process. However, you will, if you're not on the latest version, you'll be presented with um, another pop-up box and that will basically be telling you that it's downloading the latest version. And depending on how fast your internet connection is, it will depend on how quickly those updates are downloaded. Um, once they're downloaded, it won't proceed to installing them without first getting clarification from yourselves to make sure that you've saved all of your existing work on any, do uh, any applications and documents that you have open currently. Uh, and the reason for that is the update here um, spans across all of your Microsoft 365 um, products and your apps, right? So if you have any Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint documents open um, and any of those files are not saved, you potentially run the risk of losing that data. So it's going to prompt you to save all of your existing work. And then once you have saved everything, um, you'll be able to click on the continue button. Once you've clicked continue, you'll then actually run through um, on, on Microsoft itself will um, close the existing applications and install uh, all of the updates that have just been downloaded. Once that has happened, Microsoft will automatically open up all of the application that's, that it actually closed on the exact documents that you are working on. So all you have to do is really just make sure you've saved them and then click continue. Microsoft will install those updates, reload all your applications, um, and then it will prompt you saying you're up to date and then click close. So you'll have this exact same prop up um, and then you'll just be able to click on the close button. With that done, you have basically successfully updated your entire suite of um, Office applications um, or anything that you've downloaded as a part of your um, Microsoft 365 subscription. So what won't be updated is if you have two versions of PowerPoint, for example. So if you have, um, I don't know, let's say PowerPoint 2016 installed and PowerPoint 365 installed, you're only going to um, update your 365 PowerPoint, whereas 2016 won't be um, updated. However, you'll be able to flow through the same kind of process of going into the files accounts and finding any updates that are relevant for the 2016 version. Um, but within OneNote um, in particular, you'll want to make sure that you, you, know, you activate um, or, or activate your updates and go through and make sure that they're applied. With that done, your desktop is now up to date on the latest uh, version of 365 OneNote. Now we're going to head over to our um, iPhone here and I'm going to show you how to update these applications as well. And um, this is also a very straightforward and simple process. Um, all you really need to do is head over to the App Store. So 
on this iPhone here, I'm just going to click on the App Store. Then under the search function, I'm going to search for OneNote. Um, and that will then load up this screen just here. So Microsoft OneNote, and then it says open next to it. And basically what that means is there are no updates available to this application and I should just open it directly if I need it. Now, if however, you um, are on a previous version of OneNote for your phone, then actually instead of saying open there, it would say update. And then you can just click on that update and away you go, it will update and uh, download the update, install it locally on your phone, and then you're good to go. The other way of doing this is to actually click on your avatar in the top right hand corner here and scroll down to the um, update section and you can see I have 13 updates uh, required, none of which are uh, OneNote or a Microsoft product. And I could literally go through um, here manually and update them as needed. And if you had anything uh, for Microsoft OneNote that required an update, you would also see it in this section as well. Um, and guys, it is as easy as that to go through and um, update Microsoft OneNote to the latest version. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, you know what to do, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.